Here's a look at a proposed $18 million pedestrian bridge for the Gulch. The concept was rejected months ago, but it now has new life tonight. That's right. National Mayor Carl Dean releasing a new plan to pay for the $18 million span, and he hopes this plan will appease opponents who wanted to spend that money on sidewalks. Fox 17 Sky Arnold now live in the Gulch with more on this developing story. Well, Scott, that pedestrian bridge, basically it'd start where I'm standing now by the Velocity. It would stretch over the railroad tracks here onto the other side over there back by Cummins Station. And the mayor's plan would basically pay for the whole thing without having to dip into the pot of money that's used to build sidewalks. The Gulch was practically built for walking. I think a lot of people that live in the Gulch love the fact that they can walk around. It's one of the qualities that brought Amber to Bockhorst here, but when it comes to walking downtown... I don't know, yeah, I usually take a cab or, or drive down. That's something supporters say this proposed pedestrian bridge will change, giving Gulch residents way downtown and tourists a bridge to restaurants here. Mayor Dean's new plan would pay for it using a pot of money called TIF financing that was gathered from property taxes here with the goal of being used for infrastructure improvements in the area. The projects that benefit most from the bridge will be paying for it. So this project would not result in any property tax increase. It would not result in other projects not being done elsewhere on, in the county. Dean hopes that appeases opponents who killed the project last time. Uh, do we really need the pedestrian bridge? Um, I, I think that's a, a debate worth having. Metro Council member Josh Stites remains unconvinced this bridge is worth the money. Let's not pretend like all the property owners around there are paying for their own bridge because they're not. We're just diverting their property tax dollars, which we all pay. Now again, this pedestrian bridge would have to be approved by Metro Council. The board could begin talking about it at meetings next month. Potentially, we could approve it by their second meeting in October. Live in the Gulf Sky Arnold, Fox 17 News.